Hello and welcome to Frost Over the World. Later in the program, I'll be talking to that great pianist, classical conductor and champion of peace, Daniel Barenboim, discussing a new challenger to Robert Mugabe, and remember what they say, Mugabe spelt backwards is Ibagum. Analyzing Iran's nuclear ambitions, and we will, of course, also be discussing the fallout of Super Duper Tuesday. But first, Sierra Leone, where the new president, Ernest Karoma, faces enormous challenges. After over a decade of civil war, Sierra Leone is currently ranked bottom of the UN Human Development Index, 177th out of 177 countries. And one in four children there will, will never reach their fifth birthday. One in four. Earlier I spoke to President Karoma, and I started by asking him if he thinks he has the toughest job in the world. I believe that there are huge challenges out there. Uh, challenges on uh, uh, the social infrastructure, the challenges on uh, the economic infrastructure, and the challenges on the, the overall uh, uh, country situation of peace building and uh, unity. But um, I was aware of the challenges, and uh, that was the very reason why I decided to take up the job. I campaigned with the full knowledge of uh, the difficulties ahead and uh, we are now there. I am determined to effect the change and I believe that uh, we have challenges almost everywhere but we have prioritized our uh, issues of uh, activity. Uh, we have started with addressing the energy situation and uh, from there we are moving on to the infrastructure whilst we are uh, going on with uh, the overall uh, um, issue of addressing the economy and uh, social activities. And in addition to that, uh, Mr. President, you've said that uh, corruption was, was endemic, really, when you, when you came into power. And you said, we have to take on corruption. I've advised everyone, including members of my own family, I've, I've, I've advised that. I mean, how do you tackle corruption? Have you, have you done anything yet that's... Have you yes. made it a separate body, the, uh, the Commission? Yes, um, I have appointed uh, uh, um, a civil rights activist, a lawyer, to be uh, the anti-corruption commissioner. He is now working on restructuring the entire anti-corruption. We made a commitment to giving the anti-corruption commission a complete independence. Uh, that will entail the review of the law to remove the power of uh, prosecution from the office of the Attorney General to the, uh, the Anti-Corruption Commi Commission itself. And uh, we are committed to doing that. Now I have also uh, uh, taken the position that um, um, we should send very clear signals that it is independent and also very clear signals that nobody will be protected and not even members of my family will be protected. And I've made a commitment uh, to it and we are going to go on with that. Uh, the anti-corruption commissioner is given the full mandate to move on wherever the evidence takes him. And in terms of other areas to deal with, I suppose that the, the key to the future uh, wealth, hopefully, of Sierra Leone is diamonds. I mean, is diamond smuggling uh, as rife as ever, or have you managed to cut that down? Well, we have been able to put uh, uh, the diamond issue under control. It's now uh, substantially under control. There is still a percentage of smuggling going on. But with the introduction of the Kimberley project, we have uh, uh, ensured that uh, um, the areas of uh, the, the diamond products that are coming from the, uh, the Kimberlite operations and even the, those that do come from the alluvial, there is a lot of control now. And we know that there is still a room for improvement. We are working on that. Um, we are uh, um, 
ensuring that we do not only limit our activities to diamonds. There is a huge uh, number of uh, other uh, mineral products. Uh, the agricultural sector is there, the tourism sector. These are all areas that we can, uh, we are going to activate to support the development process of uh, our country. And how long do you think that the, uh, the special court of Sierra Leone, the SPCC, which is trying a number of people from the decade of civil war, how long do you want that to go on? How long should it take? Well, um, you're aware that um, it is a, a situation we inherited and uh, we will allow them to complete the process that they are on. And I think they are now on uh, almost the final stages. There are a few appeals that are still on. You, uh, the Chalstillo issue is uh, out of the country. Um, our focus really is to continue with uh, uh, the unification of the country. We know that um, there are issues that we have to address, fallout issues of uh, the special court. But also, alongside the special court, we had the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Truth and Reconciliation. Yes, uh, they concluded their work and they've uh, made certain recommendations. We have committed ourselves to uh, implementing the recommendations that uh, they have put in place, and we are working on that. And in terms of the future, people talked about a new era of hope and so on and so forth. Do you think that the, the, the wounds from the Civil War, wounds of the mind as well as of the body, uh, are those wounds healing or will it take generations for them to heal? Well, I believe um, they are healing. Um, the peace building process is uh, a process that will be ongoing. And the fact that uh, we have just completed an election, an election that was robustly contested but friendly, an election that has been accepted uh, by both uh, Sierra Leoneans and the international community as uh, free and fair is an indication that uh, we are well ahead in the healing process. And uh, as president, I have taken on the challenge to continue with the healing process. We know that uh, uh, we are a small country and uh, we emphasis should be on unifying the country. And uh, I have been doing that. We have had a successful uh, transition from uh, a government, I mean a party in opposition to a, uh, a, a party in power. And uh, it has been smooth. And uh, we, I have uh, maintained uh, the country together. I've visited the areas wherein people perceived I don't have support. And I think uh, we are working on uh, getting everybody to address the problems that are uh, confronting us, the problems on education, health, poverty, youth unemployment. These are problems that confront Sierra Leoneans as we are not people from of one political party or one region. And I think the message is uh, being accepted. I have uh, launched the, the campaign on attitudinal change. I believe with a change of attitude, uh, we're all focusing on our problems, all accepting Sierra Leone as uh, our common inheritance, and we all committing ourselves to ensuring that uh, the Sierra Leone that we are once proud of will be restored again, I think, uh, will help in the healing process. And someone said that you can tell how popular President Karoma is. He's able to ride through the streets with the windows down at five miles an hour, you know, without, without having bulletproof windows and so on. This was the fact that you were safe in going about the country was, they said, a very good sign. Yes, it is. Uh, it is an indication that I'm a people's president and I want to stay in church with the people and uh, have a feel of what they say and do. 
so that uh, we will be able to respond appropriately. And we have been taking on quick responses to uh, the demands of the people, uh, making ourselves available in, on the, where they require, addressing issues of uh, a serious nature. Uh, we've had one or two disturbance of uh, students' nature, which we have responded. We have responded quickly on the uh, problem we had in uh, Kono with the Kwaidu Holding, which is a company we believe we must protect. And uh, uh, these, uh, um, this is my own style of uh, uh, running the country, and I intend to continue with that. It sounds crazy to say talking about the poorest country in the world, and obviously s standards and so on need to rise, and they'll only rise slowly. But do you think that there could ever be a day when people called Sierra Leone a rich country because of the diamond? We will get there. Uh, we will get there and uh, it will... We are putting in place the machinery to get the whole process started. And there is a goodwill and a determination by every Sierra Leonean that uh, we should not reverse the gains that we have made and that uh, uh, what has caused the war, the, the issues that uh, led to the war should not be repeated. And with the change of attitude, I am sure that uh, we will get there, and I will assure you that we will get there pretty soon. Mr. President, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Our thanks to President Karoma. And after the break, how worried should we be about Iran? Make up your own mind after the break.